Hey everybody, it's Dizzy, and I have got a quick review today of a eyeshadow palette. I wasn't actually going to do this review, I was just going to include this in a monthly favorites, but then I didn't do my monthly favorites, and I feel like this palette is, with the holidays coming, it would make such a good gift. So I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about it and show you some swatches. Um, I am wearing it on my eyes today, and it is the Makeup Revolution New Trolls versus Neutrals palette, um, which is a pretty ridiculous name, but it is a pretty good warm toned palette. So um, I got mine at Ulta, and uh, this is the outer box. Do you see that little sticker? So that sticker is the only way you can even see the color when you get it at Ulta. My Ulta did not have any um, testers of this palette. So it was a little bit of a gamble to see if I would like it. I had seen a couple people talk about it um, on YouTube. So I'd seen some swatches. But even then, you know, it, it's different when you see something in person. Um, but for $10, it felt like it was definitely worth a try. And I believe that it is. I feel like this would, as I said, make a really great gift for someone. Um, so this is the palette. And um, this is the inside of the palette. It's got this little, it's got a large mirror. And then it's got a little screen over it that has the names of the colors. You get 14 shades. And they're all pretty warm toned. One, two, three, four, five, six true matte shades. A couple that are sort of satin finish and then a couple that are actually really pretty shiny. Um, you also get this brush, which is actually a pretty usable brush. One side is flat and the other side is fluffy. Um, and as I said, it's very soft and it's actually pretty usable. I used it um, as part of my eye look today. Um, and I am wearing this palette and only this palette on my eyes. Now, um, what I will say about this palette is it absolutely requires primer. When I did my initial hand swatches of this palette, I was like, oh my god, the mattes are terrible, it's not very good, blah blah. And then I tried it on my eyes over primer and was pretty impressed. So the primer I am using is the Urban Decay Original Primer Potion. So I'm going to start, I'm going to do the whole top row, starting from the lightest color and moving to the darkest. So that's the first shade. And can you see when it goes off, that's it on the primer and that's it without. This is the matte shade. You can really tell when this is on primer. Yeah, do you see? There it is on primer and that's it without the primer. So this is the third shade at the top. This is a sparkly peach. And I have that on the inner corner of my eye today. This is a darker peach on primer and off. And that is on the center of my lid today, right there. And do you see that it's like, it's not that sparkly on my lid. So when these are kind of blown out and diffused, they're not the sparkliest finish. This is a matte brown and look at it over a primer, really good payoff. And that is on my crease today. So right through there. The next one is a really pretty color. Just a really bright, warm, hot coral, I guess. This one is more of a red. And this one, I feel like I have to build up a little bit to get the pigmentation. But that is that. And then last is the dark brown. The dark brown in this palette is pretty nice, even off primer, do you see? Pretty good. So that is the first row. And that is the first row all together. We'll go on the other arm, which means I'm going to be really awkward. First shade, like I said, you can't really see it. Second shade. This is like a 
champagne glitter. Kind of a sparkly champagne color, it's really pretty. This is a kind of a rose, it's a rose shade. This is a copper. And this one's a little dry and flaky. Some of these are, but that is the copper. Another neutral. This is like a neutral pinky beige. Another transition shade. This is sort of a taupe brown. Taupey brown. A dark brown that's a little cool toned actually. I almost feel like the second row is just a tiny bit cool toned. There's that. And then finally, there is this sort of blackened brown with red glitter. And the red, 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 uh, red glitter does kind of translate. So there you go. That is the Makeup Revolution um, Neutrals versus Neutrals palette. As I said, I feel like this is a pretty good value for money. I think this would make an amazing um, gift for someone that was maybe just needed a stocking stuffer or something small and they were a makeup enthusiast. Or if you had a teenager in your life or a kid or a person who was just learning about makeup, um, this along with a good primer could be an excellent little starter kit for someone getting into makeup. So I hope this was helpful for you guys and I'll see you next time.